the first thing you want to do is turn on independent mode on your SCBs. So press your shortcut key, press your settings, and turn independent mode on for all of your SCVs. Once you've got independent mode, so retract and extend are different, for one and three SCVs, you want to set the timers for extend, which is raise, to say seven seconds. Set your retract time to one second for both one and three, which will be raise and lower for your back and front scrapers. Set your extend and retract times for your ejection and dump for your first and second scrapers at say 16 seconds and say 18 seconds for your back one on the extend side. On the retract side of your number two and number four SCVs, typically I would put those at about nine and 10 seconds. Now that the timers are set, we'll set iTech. So you go to iTech on your shortcut key, your screen should look like this. First you need to turn the master on. First thing we need to do is set the assignment name the assignment set. So we'll name it uh, double no auto load. Click OK. Click OK. The first thing we'll do is go to the first assignment set and we'll want to go to program. The first step will be to close the gate of the front scraper, raise it, and then lower the back one, okay? So we're gonna close the gate first, which would be SCV2. We're gonna retract it. We're gonna do that at zero feet, right when you hit the button. The next step will be to raise the front scraper. We're gonna extend. We'll do that at three feet. Next thing we're gonna do, we're going to lower the back scraper which would be SCV3, which would be retract. We'll do that at three feet as well. Hit next. The name of it, front scraper loaded. We're gonna sign it to iTech1 and save it. Next, we're going to program the next set, iTech2, hit program, add a step. That'll be closing the back scraper and raising it, so it'll be SCV4 for the gate. We're going to retract the gate at zero feet. We're going to add a step. We're going to raise the rear scraper, which is SCV3. We're going to extend at three feet. Hit OK. We need to save it. We'll save it as rear scraper loaded. OK. Assign it. iTech 2. And save. Program the dump sequence. We'll add a program. Add a step. SCV 2. We're going to extend, which is the dump. We'll go at 30 feet which is the length of the tractor. Add a step. SCV-4, we'll extend it. We'll go at, um, say, 60 feet. Next, this will be dump. Assign it to SC or ITEC-3 and save it. The last step will be to reset both scrapers so we'll go SCV2 retract at zero feet SCV4 retract 
zero feet. Next, this will be reset after dump. And it will be iTech 4. Hit save. Close out. Now you have all your sequences on your iTech. The only thing you have to do to make it work, every time you key on, turn your iTech on right here. It will be green. It will show iTech in the corner display.